Hello, welcome, I am Sam and I make jokes, and this is my desktop. Now when Windows 11 was introduced, it introduced a lot of new features, such as this weird specimen of a start menu, this widgets panel that you can't use without a Microsoft account, and regressions galore to the taskbar, including this sad lame clock with this sad lame calendar flyout. I mean, just look at it, you can't even create events in the calendar flyout anymore or view any kind of precise clock in the taskbar or calendar flyout. Ain't it great? Well, if you're watching this video, you probably disagree. So, I got good news and bad news for you. The bad news is, there's no way to get seconds in this sad lame clock within Windows 11 itself. The registry tweak that worked in Windows 10 no longer works in Windows 11. But the good news is, there's a third-party tool that restores the seconds instead. It's called 11 Clock, made by Marty Clement. Now, there's many ways to download and install 11 Clock. Two such ways are through the Microsoft Store and through GitHub. The Microsoft Store method is pretty easy. Just go to the search box and type 11 Clock, search, and then behold, it's right there. Now onto the GitHub method. For your convenience, I've included a link to the GitHub page in the description. Now we're gonna follow the link, click on the latest release, scroll all the way down to this executable file, and download and install it. Alright, so 11 clock by default puts the custom clock only on your secondary monitor, so you can go to the system tray, you can right click the 11 clock icon here, and press 11 clock settings. Now, in order to get it to show on the primary monitor, click on clock settings, show the clock on the primary screen, and behold, we got it. But this still doesn't have seconds on it. Now we need to do one final step. Go to date and time settings, and simply select show seconds on the clock. And just like that, behold, it's there! You now have a clock with seconds in it, in the taskbar, and it actually counts down by the second and not by the minute. Also, you know how Microsoft is like trying to not let you customize the font or color of the text in any way, shape, or form? Well, 11 clock lets you do that. You can go to clock appearance, you can select a custom font if you want, so you can put in, say, Times New Roman, and behold, you got it. Any fonts that you got installed in this system, 11 clock should support. You can even customize the size of the font too. You can make it huge. You can make it really tiny too if you want. You can also customize the color of the font. You can select, say, the Windows 98 default color. And behold, you can even enable a custom background color. Say you want the Windows 98 default color on it again. And behold, you can have it. And also, if you don't like the clock being right aligned like this, you can actually center the text. You can even change the position of the clock. You can have it be at the top of the screen if you'd like, or at the left of the taskbar. And that's 11 clock. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, this is a third-party tool created and maintained by Marty Clement. Alongside the 11 clock's GitHub page, I've also included a link to the official 11 clock Twitter account where updates on 11 clock are posted. Thanks for watching, everyone. Now my desktop will self-destruct.